All right, I'm back out here at this little creek where I'm always at. And, uh, well, I've always wanted to throw like a spoon or something here because I'm sure they would work well. But, uh, you know, spoons have treble hooks on them. And I don't like throwing treble hooks here because there's so many snags. And the hook ends up looking like this. It's all messed up. So, instead of using that, <clears throat> I went out and got some, some different spoons. They're a lot smaller, a lot lighter. Find one. And they've only got a single, single J hook on them. But yeah, it's just a single J hook on the spoon. These are really cheap. So we'll see how, how good they work. And it's kind of hard to screw up a spoon lure, so I'm sure they're gonna work fine. Get a swivel on here so it doesn't twist up the line. Well, the hooks are sharp at least. Get that going for him. I did not bring my polarized glasses. Every time I get out here, I realize I need them and I don't have them. So my biggest challenge for the day is that I've got about an hour before I need to be somewhere. So let's, where's my alarm clock? I'm gonna set an alarm for an hour from now. There we go. That'll let me know when I need to leave. So the goal is to see how many fish I can catch in an hour on this lure. I'm gonna see if uh, J hook's any good because treble hook's obviously gonna have more hookups. But the J hook's, I don't know, it's a single hook. I've already had two bites, but no hookups yet, so. But that's gonna be typical when you're dealing with sunfish around here like this. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, he slipped off. All right, well, they're chasing it the way you would expect them to chase a spoon. But uh, the few bites I'm getting, they're not getting the hook. I mean, it's a little J hook. I mean, you would, a treble hook would definitely bring in more hookups. But, I mean, these are little small fish. I'm looking for bigger ones. I'm looking for, the, for this kind of J-hook, you're gonna need a, a fish that's able to take the entire lure into its mouth. These are not big enough to do that, so they're not getting the hook. But, uh, yeah, so. Uh, I haven't had a single snag yet, which is exactly what I was hoping for on these. I mean, it's, it's easily possible, but I haven't had one yet, so. Get in this spot here and throw out for a little while. Looking for spots that have a lot of sun shining through the shade. Because the fish will be in the shade, but I need the sun to reflect off the lure. So. Oh. I, I had a fish on it, but he didn't get the hook set. So that... He took it on the drop, but just had it in his mouth. He didn't have a hook. Now, I mean, these are really cheap and you can get the ones with treble hooks just as cheap. So I'll post a link down below for both of them. But uh, yeah, right now, I just wanted to try the single hook, which see if it worked if it works well at all. I know it clearly doesn't work as well as the treble hooks, but I just need to catch, see if I can catch something on it. But I'm also, I haven't come across any fish big enough to really eat this thing yet, so it's also another reason I haven't had any hookups. And the hook is small enough 
to get some of these little sunfish on it, but they gotta they gotta eat the hook. They're not going after the hook, they're going after the lure. So there's a couple of little fish right there. Oh come on dude. How does that happen? Don't leave your rods in your truck in Texas. Your line will not cooperate the next day. Oh, there we go. That's a bass. It's a decent bass for this little creek here. Ugh. That, he got hooked in the mouth and then wrapped up in it. There we go. Right in the top of the mouth, perfect hook set on it, right in the lip. That's pretty cool. It's a good looking little bass. Good coloring on him. There we go, one. But yeah, that's, that's what I wanted it for. The bass over there. Okay. Brought out more bass, but they're not showing any interest. So, I mean, I know the spoon lure. It's it's hard to screw up. It's the same traditional shape it's been for the last hundred something years. But uh, it's uh, so of course it's going to generate some bites but putting the tiny little single hook on it is what I wanted to test out. So. Not entirely sure I can get over there from right where I'm at right now though, but I can get a couple of casts in at least. Oh, already just like that, got a fish. Took it as soon as it hit the water. Nice. Oh, he slipped off right at the the end there. Try again. It's weird. They cleared all of this out. Maybe they're maybe they're extending the park or just trash they needed to get out or something but uh, definitely made it a lot easier to get around ah there's a fish little bitty one stay on there we go right through the bottom of the lip it's a good hookup for these little little fish they usually got to swallow it or something pretty little fish that's two landed and two that got away so oh man I only got a few minutes left but I mean that's I've had I'm getting bites on almost every cast just about but I've only had four hookups and two of them slipped off so I don't know don't think that's a big enough sample size to see if the say it's worthwhile or not but I mean hey I did land a good bass so considering I spent considering how much money I spent on this lure these lures I probably got 10 of them uh, you know for one lure one bass that's pretty cheap I mean it's pretty I'd say it was uh it was worth it as long as, it, as if, it, if you land a fish on it it's worth it and I've got two 
two fish landed on it so and two others that got away now i'm sure if it had a treble hook on it i would have got all of them probably a few more but that's how it is but the main reason i got it is to avoid all these snags you see all these tree branches and everything i've cast into several trees today and i have not gotten a single snag like it, it came right out of all the trees and the hook is sharp Ow. So. there you go it's in a tree right now it didn't even fall out and just pops right out of the tree so now for the hour challenge I did I was just at four hookups, two landed. I gotta get going here pretty soon, but uh, I might be able to finish what I was doing soon enough to go fish for a little while more somewhere else. See if I can get anything else on them. There we go. Got me another one. I don't think he's coming off. It's another little red breast sunfish. That's three fish landed, three different species. So, it's a good one to catch your bait with. Well, I just cast out right when it started recording and it's hanging in a tree, but just pops right out like nothing. I do like that about this lure. See, I, I really enjoy using spoons. Spoons are the, one of the best lures out there. But it seems like the only time I get to use them is in a boat when I can avoid the snags easier. So now that I got one of these, now that I got these, you know, I might start using them more often. Uh, there we go. Um, worked pretty well. Three fish, three different species. It, catch, it appears like it'll catch just about anything. I've seen catfish go after spoons and stuff like this too. Uh, there we go. It's got just a single hook, a single J hook on it. It's small. So a lot of those other, like I've seen carp go after silver, silvery spoons and stuff like this, but they couldn't get the hook because their mouths are too small. And tilapia too. So this will probably work on those. So I need to get down to the river and try this out. But uh, yeah, this was uh, very much worth it for me. I, I'm gonna buy them in bulk from now on. So now I gotta figure out how to get back to my truck. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, there probably won't be anything left in this video after this, but if there is, I'll try. I'll probably just do some like highlights with the if I go anywhere else with it. But thanks for watching. See you next time. Got him. Still on? Yeah, little one. There we go. Slipped off right there. These little guads are like super feisty, so. Can't even touch them. Yeah. There we go. Nice little one. You can see where he was hooked on the lip there. Bottom lip. Is that a fish? I think I got a fish, but it's like a little one. Yeah, got a little bitty fish. It's not even fighting. Little tiny bass. He wasn't even able to fight. Tiny little bass. Quad.